This is the 2015 Husky 250 TE. It was converted to a 300. This is the bike we've been installing the BRC 500cc motor in. This is our first uh, trial fit and the motor is currently in the frame. So we'll move in a little closer to kind of see what um, issues there might have been and how it fits into the frame. So as you can see, the starter motor is uh, positioned slightly differently than on the regular 2015. It's got a little bit of an uplift tilt. The uh, reed cage and intake has not yet been installed, but we can see the spark plug is in place and the uh, coolant outlet line is in place, along with the pneumatic power valve. There's a little bit of a shot of the intake tract. And we also can see the counter shaft and the slave cylinder for the clutch. And just so you can see it, Right here is the adapter ring to make use of the starter system from the donor bike. A nice feature of the starter system is the internal race in the bearing and back in here fits into a roller bearing in the counter shaft balancer. So that little part that used to wear out all the time is now supported by a nice roller bearing inserted into the counterbalancer. So, spark plug has uh, enough clearance to get the spark plug cap on. It's a little bit of a tight fit. The the water exit, the coolant exit is. Uh, is well positioned to work with the existing cooling system. The pneumatic power valve here is in place along with the exhaust manifold. We've trial fitted the exhaust system and it looks like it's going to be a reasonably good fit. It's a prototype system so um, it's not the final word on exactly how that all is going to fit up. There really wasn't any problems that we ran into in fitting up the flywheel um, and the stator system with one exception and that is there's a those of you who have taken this off will know that there's a grommet back in here to seal the wires to the case in the KTM. Um, we had to modify that grommet so that it pushes up against the adapter ring that I just pointed out a minute ago in order to do its sealing. Uh, if you get this kit you'll see exactly what we're talking about. We simply cut the uh, grommet off at an appropriate spot and let it push up against the adapter ring to do the sealing. Okay, I'll now turn around and video the other side. Okay, here we are on the clutch side. We'll move in. It's a recluse clutch setup. Works just fine. 
the engine kit consists of the cylinder head, the cylinder, all the hardware that's needed to make the conversion, this uh, water outlet, coolant outlet, the pneumatic valve, the exhaust manifold, all the nuts and bolts that are specific to the kit. These center cases here, the side cover for the clutch, the water pump is uh, do uh, taken from the donor bike, all of the gears inside of this side, the primary gear, idler gears, kickstarter idler gear, clutch basket, all of those gears plus all of the transmission parts in, uh, in the middle here are all from the donor bike. Kickstarter when it's installed will be installed there, it's uh, again from the donor bike. Everything's buttoned up. It, it was uh, an easy install. Um, probably going to take two people to, to handle it and not uh, uh, get it stuck when you're putting it in. But basically you just pull out the swing arm axle, place, it, place the front motor mount bolt in place, and then let the engine lower till it fits into the swing arm pivot. Um, then you put in the bottom middle motor mount bolt. But other than that it's pretty straightforward. There doesn't seem to be any problems with the suspension parts on the, the Husky. It's, a, it's not a PDS system like the XEW bikes, but doesn't appear to have any problems at all. I'll just get a little picture in here as to how close things look. going to be able to be seen very well. You'll see this fitting here, which is the new um, breather outlet for the side case. And here we have, when you're kick-starting it, you'll want to use this compression release. Basically, it's out all the time, and when you want to start use the compression release uh, for starting with the Kickstarter, you push it in, and it uh, allows the compression to drop enough to get an easy kickstart. We'll back up here. That's pretty much the full picture of the bike with the engine installed. Pretty clean look. Uh, we haven't put on the head stabilizers yet, but we don't expect any problems there.